Hey, welcome to another episode of Video Prediction for Creatives. I'm Alex Skinner, and today we're gonna go over a couple items that we just got out of the Amazon Locker. So we're gonna go over these one by one and unbox them for you and let you know what's inside and what we think about them. So stay tuned for more. All right, welcome back. So let's go over what's actually in front of us here today. Uh, we've got a vocal uh, booth that's portable. Um, we've got a professional uh, microphone holder extension arm. Uh, it's good for like on the side of a desk for podcasting and uh, voiceover and things like that. Let's see, we've got a, po a pop filter. So to get rid of unwanted pop out of microphone recordings while you're recording. Um, let's see, we've got a Rokinon 24 millimeter 2.8 AF. And this is gonna be for our Sony E-mount camera, which is our A7R2. So we've been really excited about taking this lens for a spin. And right next to it, we have uh, these Buddha Tees, and this is uh, the Chaga version of the Buddha Tees. And it's organic and it's very interesting. We've been kind of drinking it religiously and it's we've seen some benefits for sure and uh, you know Elizabeth really likes it and you know uh, it's only about six or seven dollars on Amazon and it gets here pretty quick so we just got a couple more boxes of those and uh, wanted to share with you why we love it so much. And so last but not least we've got the Stellar X2 microphone down here and we've heard really good things about this microphone. We've done our research and we think it's probably uh, the best fit for outfit right now. Um, in the past, we've had other um, more expensive microphones and actually ended up winding up using this one instead. So it's a lot of bang for your buck. And so we're looking forward to getting acquainted with this microphone again. All right, so let's get back to unboxing. Alright, so let's get to it. We've got the portable vocal booth right here from a brand called AOKO. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that, but that's just what it looks like. Here on the front, we've got some features, reduced noise, high density sponge, and metal shell. So this guy basically wraps around your microphone and makes it seem like you're not recording in a big echoey environment. So it's going to take a lot of reverb out of your recording. You know, like it says, bring a, a studio to wherever you're recording. So let's start opening it up here and see what we got. All right. So you notice that it's in a sleeve. That's kind of nice. A little dust bag. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this. Okay, let's see. All right. Seems like good, a good quality build so far. It doesn't feel very cheap. Okay, it's got a good weight to it. Uh, what else is in here? Here's uh, some mounting brackets. All right, cool. So off the bat, kind of a nice impression for uh, you know the price. And uh, so let's put this back in here. All right, so we've got our product manual. All right, we'll be using this guy and set it up properly. Okay, and. Uh, thank you card from the manufacturer, you know, these things really go a long way, you know, little details, you know, thanks for your purchase, you know, it's, uh, it's really nice, a little personal touch. Okay, so let's put this back in here and see if we can get it set up. So we've got our mounting bracket. Okay, let's see what the manual says before we mess anything up. All right, so after looking at the instruction manual here, uh, we're gonna need to uh, unbox our Stellar X2 to be able to use this hardware and mount it straight to this. Okay, so we've got the Stellar X2 right here and off the bat, the box seems pretty nice. Um, something you see from Apple or something. It designed in California, Southern California. So, all right, let's, get, let's unbox it. Okay. Oh, wow, look at this. You guys are gonna like this. Look, it comes in its own carrying case. Very sleek. It's good to protect your equipment, you know, it's, that way it lasts forever and, uh, 
you can keep it safe. All right, so, wow, look at this, very nice. So this is a microphone testing and inspection. So it says it's done a 14 hour burn and test, uh, polarization voltage check, frequency sweep, sensitivity, noise floor check, and visual inspection. So that's really nice because, you know, we all hate unboxing things that don't work. So it's really nice that they've gone out of their way to do this kind of quality control on their product. It shows that they really care. So overall, I'm really impressed just by this opening it and the, the container. Uh, okay, so we've got a nice pouch. Let's see if there's anything, any money inside here? Nope, oh, okay, well, you never know. So let's put this to the side here. All right, we've got a windscreen, a muff. Nice. All right, it comes with its own, you know, shock mount. Very cool, you know. That way you don't get any unwanted vibrational sound from the, the mic stand or the table you're mounted it to. Okay, so here's the Stellar X2. All right, so off the bat, it's got a good weight to it. I mean, it feels, it feels nice and expensive. It, it definitely does not feel cheap. Wow, okay, so here's uh, just a little rotation for you guys. Check, check. Yeah, I, I'm excited to plug this in and put this to work, so. All right, and from the light, you can really see the, the large diaphragm mic in there. Very cool. Piece of gear that I've been really excited about for you know a couple of days. And I'm glad it's here. All right, so we'll test out this product on a project or two here shortly. So stay tuned for the upcoming video where we, you know, test drive this mic and we'll give you our feedback. So let's move on to the pot filter and mount it all together and see how it looks and how it all fits together. All right, so we've got the uh, AOKO professional pot filter here. So same brand as the professional vocal booth that uh, we looked at. Really important whenever you're creating a, a quality recording inside of a studio. And it's important to know that when you do use these, you will be able to tell when you have one or you don't, you know? So you wanna make sure your recording has one all throughout or none at all, you know? That would keep it balanced. All right, so we've got this type of stand here and it's kind of like a booming uh, desk stand and uh, we're gonna mount it right on top of this rock and roller cart right here. All right, so let's unbox this guy real quick. All right, make sure we don't have any loose parts here. Okay, there's a little part right here. Okay, let's see. All right. So this is great for podcasting. I'm sure you've all seen, you know, these in podcast studios or even nicer ones. But okay, not too bad. Kind of lightweight, but the hardware seems, you know, a good build. Let's see, okay. So it comes with a microphone holder, but we probably won't need it because we have our shock mount that comes with the Stellar X2. So it's good to have the a backup one of these for something else, you know. All right, so we've got the mounting bracket here for the stand. We're just gonna unwind this and mount it to the side right here. All right, so right now, first impression, it seems like an okay arm, but you probably wouldn't wanna bang it around too much. So if your microphone's on it, you definitely wanna make sure it's secure. Um, all right, so it's like it goes in like this. And then you've got your Tightening knob right here. So I kind of wish they would have a rubber stopper right here that's built into this. It, right now it looks like there's just metal, but this part does have foam right here. So make sure you mount it to something you 
or put something in here in between if you're going to mount it to something that's going to scratch like maybe glass or something like that so just a note all right so we've got it on the corner right here and just going to tighten it up all right so that tightening piece really does a great job it's kind of more of a lightweight boom arm so you're going to want a beefier boom arm than this if you want to put something like this on here. So it's more meant for just the microphone alone by itself or perhaps even with the pot filter, but it, it can't handle the weight of this. So we're just gonna mount the Stellar X2 and the pot filter to it. All right, so we've got this shock mount right here. So this will fit on here and just like this. Okay. And then you're going to want it because the microphone goes up and down. So you're going to want to mount it kind of like this. And here we go. All right, just like that. So it does not come with an XLR cable. You're gonna want to have your own or get one. We prefer to use Megami just cause it's a really trusted brand. It's, you know, guaranteed for life and things like that. And uh, very low noise. And you can, you can really tell the difference between a Megami and just a regular cable. All right, so let's unbox this pop filter and mount it to the boom arm and the Stellar X2 microphone. Alright, so make sure it looks quality, there's nothing wrong with it, you know, there's no holes in it. Make sure that's it. Okay. Very cool. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna mount it just to the the base of this mount for the microphone shock mount just kind of bend it over like this so this will be the front right here so the diaphragm on the Stellar X2 is front mount so you're definitely going to want to mount this pop filter directly in front tighten it up Okay, there we go. And then with the boom arm, we should be able to move it around a little bit. There we go. All right, and that's it for this setup. So we're gonna check out the rest of the items. All right, so I'm really excited about this Rokinon 24 millimeter F2.8 AF autofocus. And heard a lot of really great things about this and we definitely did our homework in, in buying it. So let's see what's inside. Oh, cool. So it's got this nice little case. Wow, it's just like incredibly light. Like, is it even in here? <laughs> okay, so we've got the manual. Okay, man, we knew this was a low profile lens, but it's a whole nother thing when you're actually just looking at it instead of, you know, on the internet. All right, so, man. This is just really light. Like it's, it's almost like, I don't know which one weighs more, you know? Okay, so we've got the lens cap. All right, there's the glass right here. This is the AF 24 millimeter 2.8 Sony E-mount. Comes a little, little lens hood right here. So protect your lens, get rid of some flares. All right, it snaps into place really nice. The, the build on this is kind of misleading because it feels quality, but it's just so light. Very strange, I've never seen a lens kind of like this. Look at the size of this. So this is supposed to work full frame on the Sony. That way you can get the most out of your pixels and you're gonna have that active 
autofocus. So this is a really great lens for vlogging and having a good autofocus system can't hurt, especially if you're wanting to shoot behind the scenes or just kind of spur the moment stuff. You don't have to pay too much attention to the focus. This is a great behind the scenes lens because you can just give this to somebody and you know they're gonna get it sharp, you know? And they don't have to think about it being in focus and things like that. So it can really just put somebody at ease and make it fun, you know? Cause you know, part of filmmaking is make sure everything's fun. So we're gonna do a whole nother test video on this another time and we're gonna put it on the gimbal, on the Sony, a7R2. So stay tuned for that one. All right, so last but not least, we've got these chaga teas. In the morning, we're having tea, something that's gonna nurture our body versus, you know, kind of just wear it down over time, like coffee. You know, uh, you know, I've been really into coffee for some time and I kind of find myself going on and off, you know. I'm really liking how these chaga teas make you feel. And uh, Elizabeth really likes them too. So we're gonna open this up right here and Overall, this packaging is really impressive. Like, it's got a, it's got a really cool, like, felt texture to it, where it's kind of like, is this like rubber or paper? You know. All right. So let's see. So look, here we go. Really cool packaging. So we've got a little gold boot on here. So clean ingredients, unbleached bags, kosher, no GMOs recycled material, no artificial flavors, colors, or preservatives. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm all about. All right, so on the back here says, by using the highest quality herbs, there is absolutely no need to include any artificial or natural flavoring. Enjoy the tea the way nature intended. Okay. So we just started ordering these by the bulk because we're just going through so much of it. Uh, we drink it like every day, maybe like two or three times a day, honestly. And each bag kind of is good for two cups. So, you know, we've got a nice little coffee maker that has a little side uh, for boiling the water and making tea and things like that. And so just put the tea right into the cup and then pour the hot water right into it and just let it sit for about five minutes in the hot water and you cover it and it's ready. You know, I like putting a little splash of cinnamon and a little coconut sugar and it just starts off my day and it's uh, you know really nice it's very peaceful and you feel kind of alert it's really nice to get off coffee and find something that you know really benefits me long in the long term so usually I like to mix this with uh, some yerba mate or something like that and it comes out really great all right and that's it for today so we've gone over these items and some of these we're going to be making other videos for so stay tuned for those and i'll catch you next time